Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 25th of September and a very happy Homebrew Wednesday. Um, this is my last bit of leftover strawberry cider. Um, it came out well, I mean look at that, it's like gin clear, but the trouble is it came out about 8.4% and for me that's a bit sort of like loopy juice, so uh, I don't mind 5 to 6.5 on ciders, but anything more, no. Oh, but anyway... Right then, this week, um, got a few things to go through. Um, did my first wine kit at the weekend, which is a one gallon batch of elderflower, which I picked up from Wilco's. Um, wasn't on offer or anything, but um, makes a one gallon batch, put that in the Demi John. It's over there and it's bubbling like a bad boy at the moment. Um, I was going to do a cherry cider recipe, so I've got all the apple juices, etc. But despite schlepping round Sainsbury's, Morrison's and Tesco's that are three of the biggest UK supermarkets, I couldn't get any of the types of cherries that I was after in the jars. So um, that's one for another rainy day. So I'm going to keep up the shopping list as soon as I get them, pick them up, bang it on and do a brew of that. Um, when I was in Wilco's, picked up another couple of kits. I had some birthday money left, so uh, picked up a um, couple of... Um, bags of enhancer, always get some brew sugar when you're in there as well and some bits and bobs but I've got a one can kit of sweet Nuki Brown which is um, I think it's supposed to be like a clone or rip off of Newcastle Brown now that I think is owned by Pineken nowadays um, but that makes um, 20, 23 litres, 40 pints so I'm going to give that a go, got some uh, well, a few types of hops up there, so yeah, that'd be good. And then the other one I picked up because it's getting uh, a bit chilly nowadays in, in the evening, so gonna do one of those as well. So should keep me out, out of mischief for the uh, next few weeks, uh, brewing those up. Um, what else was there? Um, the reason why I got these two was I knew I was going to Wilco's obviously, and I had a look on YouTube just to see um, some videos of them and uh, Dave from What Brewing UK brewed them up and did some really good reviews on them as well so um, yeah looks good um, talking to Dave from What's Brewing UK haven't seen any vids from, from him for a while so I hope he's alright because um, I'd recommend his channel to anyone especially if you know someone who wants to get into brewing um, go and watch his videos of him doing it because the man is he's just absolute class it just looks so effortless and seamless when he does it um, and you think at home blimey I could do that so go and check out his channel if you don't already subscribe um, also my local beer festival is now only a few weeks away it starts on Wednesday the 2nd and finishes on Saturday the 5th they've released like the little program um, which is um, it's based in Bedford in the UK um, they've got over 100 real hours and 39 ciders and perries. Um, I can feel the hangover coming on already. There is some, some serious drinking on here. There really is. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all these uh, crammed into three days. Um, a lot of them are local beers as well, which uh, I always enjoy, enjoy trying because... You know, it's like in like your local off license or brew store or supermarkets. You know, it's it's sort of pretty much the same stuff um, that you can drink all the time. But um, a lot of this stuff, because it's quite niche and micro macro brewery, you don't see it all that often. So um, yeah, the beer festivals really cash in and give it <laughs> give it a good hammering at the bar. But um, as always with beer festivals, um, I've got some tips for it. Number one. Always take a carrier bag with you because on your way home when you're absolutely bladdered falling out that taxi, the last thing you want to do is drop and smash your souvenir glass everywhere. So take your carrier bag, that's my one I always take. Alcoholic Learning Centre, you get some great looks from people around the uh, beer festivals with one of them. Um, and also take a bag of, you know, one of them little bank bags of one and two pound coins as it is in the UK because. Every beer festival is the same. It gets about four o'clock. They've got no bloody change left. So you hand them over a £10 note or a £20 note. And by the time you get your change, you're that much left in your pint. And then you ask for another one. And then you've got to go off and get some change. So keep all your coins. Then you can pay easily. And you're not faffing about waiting for change. And number three, make sure you eat before you go down there. Because you've got to have something to soak all, all of that beer up. Um, 
a couple of other things. Um, spied this actually. Um, Mrs. Popped in Wilkin not Wilkinson's, Christ got out on the brain. Um, Lidl's lo local supermarket brand to pick up some milk, and they always have like a weekly flyer. And they have that on offer at the moment, which is classic ales of England. Um, you get 12 bottles, which is 12 pints, um, 14 99 two Ringwood 49er, two Witchwood Hobgoblin, two Breakspear Bitter, two Marston's EPA, two Banks Bitter, and two Jennings Cock uh, Hoop. So 14 99 by anyone's money for that lineup is pretty good, I thought. So um, if you're passing, definitely recommend that. Um, Lastly, before I go, um, following last week's um, podcast, broadcast, YouTube video, I got blitzed with emails from around the world. People were uh, on about uh, the infamous 1974 pamphlet of German meats and sausages. And just to show how far this has reached, supermarket giant Lidl, one of the biggest supermarket chains in, in Europe, have had a German meats and sausages week. Who would have thought that my humble... Homebrew Wednesday video could touch international buyers at major supermarkets so much that they would run a German Meats and Sausages Week. On that note, I hope everyone's well. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. If you're brewing this week, hope it goes well. If you're brewing outside, I hope it stays dry. So all the best everyone. Be seeing you. Cheers. <laughs>